A new policy rolled out by the Trump administration caused confusion and worry today among military and government contractors abroad. The policy narrows the circumstances under which children can receive citizenship if born overseas. Our tenders reporter Matt Boone spoke to an immigration lawyer who says while it applies to very few people, it could have broader significance. Yeah, Steve Kimberly, when this came out earlier today, there was some confusion. Some people even thinking it applied to all U.S. service members abroad. That is not the case, but it does still apply to a small subset of U.S. workers who will now have to go through a lengthier process to get citizenship for their children. The new policy applies to three subsets of U.S. government workers or service members abroad who are U.S. citizens who adopted a child, were not U.S. citizens when their child was born but have since been naturalized, or are U.S. citizens but have never established residency in the United States. Under the new rules, you, they have to come back to the U.S. before the child is 18 and apply for a very complicated process, N-600K, which is going to be... You know, it's going to take more than a year. Jacob Sapochnik is an immigration attorney. He says the N-600K is faster than other naturalization processes, but can still be expensive and time-consuming. Now we have to go through the rigorous process of applying for uh, citizenship in the U.S. before they turn 18. Government estimates say the policy would only affect about 20 to 25 children born a year. The significance of this is why they're doing it now, um, and it's kind of like a sign that maybe we are looking at other laws that will prohibit citizenship. Government officials were quick to argue the policy does not prohibit citizenship. Rather, it just changes the way it can be obtained in those specific cases. Its official reason for the change was to align the policy with the Department of State's guidelines. But Sapochnik says it seems to fit into the Trump administration's broader immigration policy goals. I don't think it's a very big uh, change in the sense that not that many people are going to be impacted. But the significance of the change is worrisome because now we are limiting citizenship process to, some, to somebody that was able to get it before without too many problems. And to emphasize all this again, the acting director of the U.S. CIS, Ken Cuccinelli, went to Twitter this afternoon saying, once again, it only affects children who were born outside the U.S. and were not U.S. citizens. He also added that this does not impact birthright citizenship. In the Live Center, Matt Boone, 10 News.